What'd you get? I got a lemonade. Ooh, Chick-fil-A lemonade is so good. It's fire! So is their coffee, and I feel like it's so underrated. Hey, beauty. We are at Walmart. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping today. Clothes, makeup, hair, shoes, accessories. <laughs> That's mostly what I'm here for today. And I'm thinking that this Walmart might have some of their new Madden Girl line or any of their new lines because they got the dollar spot first. So I'm really excited to get in there and go shopping. Let me finish my Chick-fil-A first and then we'll get on in there. <laughs> Bada bang! <laughs> We came in right at the makeup section. They've got lots of sunscreen, lots of cute little makeup bags. Oh, I like this tortoiseshell one. $6.97. That would be cute to put in your bag. Maybelline has a new mascara. Have y'all tried this one? I do love Maybelline mascaras. Tattoo Studio Brow Lipstick. Oh, and it comes in a color. Ooh, they have a hair towel. $4.98. I like that it has the little holder right there because mine does tend to slip off. Makeup remover towels. I like to use these instead of makeup wipes just with a makeup removing oil. This looks like a new line. Skin Proud. Ooh, and they have this facial steamer. I have one and I absolutely love it. They even have one of these massager tools, a silicone cleaning device. I have one of these and I absolutely love it. This one's only $14.88. Y'all, they have a lot of new skincare. They're even carrying Bliss now. I feel like I haven't been to their skincare aisle in a long time. There's the Thayer's Toner. That that everyone goes crazy over. This looks like a beauty nutrition line, which is really cool. Uh, collagen beauty bites that are chocolate and then some pills and some gummies. This also looks like a new makeup brand. UOMA by Sharon C. They've got some foundations and a ton of different colors. I love that. Lipstick, lip gloss, mascara, liners, serums, cleansers. These look like some nice little cotton pads. This TLB brand is actually a vegan brand. They've got glosses, lipsticks, lip kits, blushes, setting powders, eyeshadow palettes. I really like all that packaging. They even have concealers and skin glows and foundation. This one says it's a three-in-one tinted skin conditioner. Did want to look at the press on nails because Josh's cousin had a really cute set on that had some stars and she said she got them at Walmart. Not seeing her set. Oh my gosh, they have a little girl's press on nails. How cute. I thought this was cool. It's like a stick fragrance. Spring Sparty, Dance Sparty, Love Sparty. Coming up on the Profusion makeup, which I am loving these marbled blending sponges. $7.98 for this set of five foaming lashes. Oh, I love these huge eyeshadow palettes. Look at that. Ton of colors. Halo Glow Setting Powder. They have it in a pink. Should I try this? They have light, medium, and then they have the HD setting powder. I have this matte lipstick in the color Bare It All. This color. I really love it, but I kind of want to try their High Shine version. Literally, it's $1.98. I think I'm gonna go with this color is Mad for Mom. Lots of lashes, some LA Colors brushes. I really like this one with the clear handle. I am in the shampoo conditioning aisle. I'm looking for a hair mask, but I found this Kin Healthy Scalp Scrub for $6.97. Use charcoal to detoxify and coconut oil to nourish your scalp and remove buildup relieves dandruff and increases blood flow to your hair follicles, which help stimulate hair growth. Adding scalp scrub will help you grow strong 
healthier hair. Faith in Nature Hair Mask, Natural Origin, no SLS or paraben. It's only $8. Coconut and Shea, and this one is Shea in Oregon. This scalp exfoliator has an actual massager. That's cool. Bonding pre-treatment. Purple hair mask. This one is a color care hair mask. This one actually is $9.94. I think I'm gonna go with this one because it says sulfate free, phthalate free, paraben free, silicone free, gluten free, mineral oil free, color safe, cruelty free, and vegan. That one is $9.94. They also have these root touch ups. If I like this brand, I might end up trying more of their products. I made it to the accessories. I'm seeing a lot of the Madden NYC, the bucket hats with the matching crossbody bags. Those are so cute. Ooh, this one's so cute with the knot handles. They also have these little hobo bags. And I don't really have a white bag that I'm loving right now. I like the knot handles, $18. Let's just go ahead and grab her. They do also have these woven bags right here. So this looks like the larger version. And then the little mini bags. They've also got some cute like little crossbody fannies. These are great if you're planning a Disney vacation. This one has the clear so you can put your phone in the front. I like this floral. The little mini backpacks. They even have these like super mini little phone holder handbags. These aren't really new. They are very cute. I want to say I showed them in my last shop with me. They have had these for a while, but they're really good basic, especially for a beach vacation. Round woven bags. I'm really liking this little floral embroidery, but you've also got the basics, the one with all the colors. This ombre sunset colorway, so cute. I'm sure you guys have seen these. I feel like I've seen these as well, but you can't pass them up because they are very cute and only $24.98. I'm really liking this little camera style from Time and True. It comes in a nude and a black, the Reebok mini backpacks, and then there's two more colors in that crossbody, which I really like the white and I really like that hot pink too. You have your cooler style bag. Lots of different patterns. Great for summer. More of the little Reebok backpacks. They also have this little crossbody. That's cute. I like this black one has the metallic letters. That's super cute. Lots of colors in this style backpack as well. Even some pastel colors. Of course, Time and True always has super cute hair accessories. I'm loving these big bows. These braided headbands are super cute. Comes in the blue, the mint, lavender cream, and then the beaded headbands are super cute as well. You got your hair clips up here. Really loving all the colors. Ooh, I'm really liking that one. This one's super cute too. Of course, you have your woven. Uh, ooh, these are on rollback. I feel like I saw these in a three pack online. They do also have these like linen textured coveralls. Ooh, they've got some scoop accessories in, a bunch of chain belts. Those are $18. They also have these wide brim hats with the orange and pink floral little scarf, $39. They have a black version with the polka dot scarf. Cute little baseball caps. I actually really like this camo one. It's very similar to the one that I'm wearing right now. It's $8.97. I get questions about this Adidas one a lot. The Lake Vibes is cute. The Vacay Babe is super cute. I actually kind of like the polka dot one too. I really like this Good Vibes Club one, but I'm not sure I'd wear it that much. These hair clips are on rollback for $7. Time and True has lots of affordable jewelry options as per usual. I'm really liking these necklaces. I like that cross one. They have a couple of basic chains. And then you have all your hoop sets. A bunch of really cute different hoop styles. There's that one's cute. These up here. That one's really cute. Your basic hoops right there. 
all very affordable. Ooh, I like this beaded style. $2.88. And then we have the no boundaries line. This one's really cute. Ooh, they have these rhinestones. I'm gonna grab this one too. How cute are these travel jewelry bags? I love that. They also have some really cute little jewelry stands. This little jewelry box I think is cute. And then they have some of the bigger ones. They also have these cleaners. Ooh, I might grab this little diamond brush. I do kind of need to clean my ring, honestly. I'm walking into the clothing section and they have my size in these jeans. I'm so excited and they're on clearance for $11. So I'm gonna grab a nine in this one with the splattered bleach on it i might have to grab a seven in the black but for eleven dollars i'm okay with that look how cute those are yes thank you so much got a comment about the love in sports line because do y'all remember that terry cloth button up that i wanted some shorts for this one is a little bit more yellow whereas that one was more green but these are all so cute look how cute this one is with the different colors it even comes in a blue one all of these little sports bras are so cute neon one it says love in sports on the front and it comes in a black and white version. They even have the matching pants, the black version with the blue and green, and then the pink with the Love and Sports on the side. How cute are these zebra print little workout shorts? These are really cute too for the summer. This blue color is so pretty. Oh, how cute is this? I love that print. We've got some more Reebok over here. Some basic biker shorts. And then the sports bras. And then you have the Reebok casual shorts. These are $15.98 and I wanna say they have a matching, yep, the matching t-shirts on this side for $13.98. Here is the free assembly, some basic tees folded down right here. I really like that pink striped one, that's super cute. All of their denim right here. More basic tees hung. These cute little sweat shorts, those are $14. It doesn't look like they've gotten all their denim in, but last year I was obsessed with my free assembly shorts. Faded black shorts, those are cute. This little ruffly top with the crisscross back, that's cute. They have it in that striped version as well. These are some lightweight little terry cloth style shorts. Those are also $14. I actually really like this. That is so cute. How much is that? $12? They have some more shorts over here. Oh, how cute are these? The striped ones. They do have a medium and it's orange and pink. They're like a towel fabric as well. This one's super cute with the deep V in the back and it has the tie. The ones on the other side, I feel like I've seen before but those are also super cute t-shirt dresses tend to be really long on me especially like time and true and the free assembly is not too bad but i either have to go super mini or midi maxi i can never do just like a mid thigh length because again it ends up being like to my knees and just making me look so much shorter over here they have a whole bunch of little t-shirt dresses these are on rollback for 1050 but i saw this oops i saw this bcbg paris one how cute is that peach print the back is like a crisscross back it's a very lightweight would make a great swimsuit cover-up look at the white one that is like the perfect swimsuit cover-up i love the knot details 28 dollars for this one I'm in the Terra and Sky, which is their plus size section, but they have some hidden gems over here. This like acid wash ruffle sleeve top. It also comes in the faded black. 
black. I'm really loving this plaid little ruffle sleeve tank top that is so cute. It comes in a basic and it is like a linen super lightweight fabric it comes in the pink plaid and it even comes in a white $14.98 for that one they've also got this sheared like peplum style super cute option at $19.98 I'm even loving this one right here that is so cute the color is gorgeous how cute is that comes in lots of different colors $16.98 and then you have some basics over here they even have this style top so like I said lots of hidden gems oh my gosh look at that by Tara and Sky. that is so cute $15.98 for that there's a bunch of super cute dresses they look a little disheveled but they're worth going through. I found some Madden NYC dresses. I'm not loving all of these because of the print. The only one that I really would buy would be this one, $20. I like the tie and the sheared bodice with the ruffle on the bottom. Here is this ruched tank top. In my last Walmart try-on, I showed it in the cream glittery version. I think I would probably go with this bright print or maybe the mint one there's even this like wavy print that's really trendy they have these really cute little bandana style tops at 10.98 for those i like the red that's super cute for like memorial day fourth of july anything like that but the yellow is really cute i think my favorite is the green and blue option and it looks like you can self tie as tight or as loose as you want immediately yes to a lot of the these swimsuits first of all i'm drawn to this one i love that print there's even this black glittery one with the cutouts on the front i'm not sure about the tan lines on that but it might be worth it for that swimsuit because it is cute even this cloud print this black one has a really cute little belt and like a halter top style this purple one is really cute with the non top and it has like a little keyhole right here with the rope style belt you've even got some really cute bikini styles I'm really liking these bottoms they tend to be very flattering and they have a matching top up here these are by the BCBG Paris line they are $24 top is the same price lots of cover-ups how cute is this cover-up with the knot in the middle and it's just like a see-through little mesh $16.99 for that that is so cute again that one is sort of like the see-through mesh it's not that see-through though honestly oh it comes in a white these leopard print cover-ups this one's actually a pair of pants and it's got the open leg right there those are cute this leopard print one piece that has to be by no boundaries yep I called that $18.98. I had to show you this like zebra print. How cute are the bralette style cups? That one is $24.98. It looks like you can scrunch the sides to have it however high or low that you want. I think that one is on rollback for $22. There's also this one that's really cute with the gold ring and it's actually a shimmery style. All of the prices on this one are ripped off so I don't know but it does say $24.98 up here I had to stop at the PJ section and how cute is this flamingo set $16.98 they also have this pink and white set I am really in love with this one as well I made it to the shoes and they did get in some of these Luxol Converse dupes in the black and the white they did also get the high top leopard Converse dupe these are all $14.97 so lots of Madden NYC I'm really liking this one with the jewels slide with the jewels these quilted Chanel dupes I might grab these these are $24 they have lots of the Doc Martin dupes a bunch of 
different style wedges, very similar to your Tory Burch style. These are cute with the braided and then the toe detail. They come in a black as well. You got the brown Tory Burch dupe flip-flops and then the puffy braided. Those are super cute. Just stumbled across these Madden NYC rhinestone version. It says a four and a 13, so those look like girl sizes, but I fit a girl size, so I might grab these. <laughs> they have these little girls ones. This one comes in a girl size. I'm in the men's section looking for some graphics, but I noticed that these basic men's no boundaries tees are rollback for $8. They have a lot of really great colors, like this gray, this green oh there's that rolling stones graphic super cute this khaki color i even like this color right here they're very very soft even this like minty lime green color okay i did find a few graphics i had to dig but i found them here's the pink floyd version this one is the acdc the beatles one is really cute i'm loving that colorway also they do have the free assembly line which actually looks really nice like these shorts look nice they have the adjustable waistband they have these really cool polos they have the jacket some basic tees some graphic tees here's some more free assembly actually this one is color block with the pocket that's cute Oop, running into things again oh here's some khaki and navy blue basic shorts i, I must have walked right by this table there's this ice cube one that's cool this nirvana one with the x smiley face i also really like this corvette graphic i think that one's cool okay back here they don't have a lot of options they have lots of this cobra kai some of this kiss one this super mario is kind of cool and then they have the acdc down here yellowstone they actually have three of the graphic tees they're always sold out of the selena one which sucks I check every single time I come to Walmart. Babe, did you really find the Miller Lite J Alvin? I honestly just saw a beer. Edition. I just got home. I have four full bags of women's clothes that I picked out. I unfortunately am not going to have time to try them all on in this video. I do plan on making a full Walmart try on haul for everything that I got. Keep an eye out for that. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. I do want to talk about beauty first. This is kind of boring, but I needed one for my handbag. I think this was like 98 cents. I like that this one has a little spot where it catches all the shavings because the one that I have now doesn't and it makes a huge mess. I did also get this High Shine Wet n Wild lipstick in the color Mad for Mauve. This was $2. I do want to try it now. It is very comfortable, very soft. Here, let me grab this e.l.f. lip liner. It's a little darker. I'll definitely be getting more of those. I did also end up picking up this Halo Glow Elf Setting Power in the light pink color. I talked about the pink Becca one that I've been using in my Amazon Beauty video, but that one I think is discontinued or something. So there is the color difference. It's definitely more peachy than actually pink, which I don't think that I mind because sometimes I feel like if I'm filming, I think it looks beautiful, but sometimes in the daylight, the bright pink color is a little much. Now I have options and I'm really happy about that. This Heritage by Mindy McKnight Root Revival Root Touch-Up in Light Brown. It says quick dry temporary root touch-up, sulfate-free, philathylate-free, paraben-free, silicone-free, gluten-free, mineral oil-free, color safe, cruelty free, and vegan. Yeah, that's why I went with this brand. I did also end up grabbing the Heritage Color Care Mask. 
This one says that it's formulated with UV filters to improve your hair color's vibrancy, fights color wash out, oxidizing and fading while locking in moisture, made with olive oil, passion fruit seed oil, elderberry extract, and maru maru butter. I probably didn't say that right, but sounds very inviting and I'm excited. L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. This one has a sunscreen with SPF 25 and the color I got was 482 Radiant Sun. It looked like a pretty good color match. I probably could even swatch on my face because I'm not wearing anything. Yeah, that looks like a really good color match. It blended right into my skin. I'm gonna like this. I'm excited to try it. I feel like Rocio Roses talks about this a lot on her TikTok. I'm like kind of blown away how good that color matches. My foundation never matches, honestly, so I'm very happy with that color shade match. The last thing that I got was for Ellie because she does have ringlet curls. I usually use this one, the Curl Renew Reactivating Milk Spray. This is so good. Even if she sleeps on dry hair overnight, I put this in and all her frizzies go away and her ringlets come right back out. I absolutely Absolutely love this I've gone through so many bottles of it but they didn't have it so I got this one the curl shape defining spray gel this one also says vegan formula no animal derived ingredients no silicones no sulfates no parabens gentle for everyday use spray generously onto slightly damp or dry hair style as usual it actually also says that Garnier commits to greener beauty eco designed formulas recycled packaging renewable energy they're produced in a plant powered by no less than 45 percent renewable energy and it's approved by cruelty free international which i did not know about garnier fructis and yeah i love me some garnier i've actually followed a few curly hair girls on tiktok because my hair is so straight and I want Ellie to love her curls because they're so beautiful. I'm trying to learn so that I can teach her how to style her hair and love her curls. Um, but anyways, since I'm talking about Ellie, let's go ahead and talk about what I got her. Just a pair of little gold sandals and then just a pink pair of two strap sandals. She had these same exact ones last year and wore them all the time. They were $7.48 and these little gold ones were $13.98. Those are super cute too. They have the cork sole. Yeah, they're both by Wonder Nation. I feel like everything I got her was Wonder Nation. She came out on top, honestly. <laughs> I found a whole bunch of two pack sets. This one is just a tank top set with the stripes and a basic ribbed little tank. This was $5.98, $3 for each top. I think that is a great deal. And then I got these biker shorts. I wanted to find the tank top with this leopard print, but I couldn't find it. I'm glad I found it in the shorts though, because it's super cute. These were also $5.98. The black ones are just a basic black little biker short. Little shorts for the tanks. These were $5.98 as well. I like the <laughs> contrasting band. Of course, you can wear it normally. I like that this one has the pink with the hearts on it. It's just so convenient that my pointer finger is my missing nail. I've been trying to hide it all day and now it's, yeah. Anyways, these were super cute, only six bucks for these two. And then I did get this romper set, which was $9.68. I love the flamingos. And then the floral is really cute as well. But yeah, these are the same, but different. They were $9.68 as well. I really like this pattern. I think that is so cute. And then this one has the patch pockets with the bow. Let me see the front of this one. This one also has the patch pockets with the bow and this one as well. So cute. 
I did also find two dresses. These were also $9.68. I like the little yellow polka dot with the ruffle and the pineapple with the cherries. I thought it was so cute. I like the little red straps too. Let me go ahead and show you the accessories that I got. This was on sale for $7.50. I probably should have got the black one, but this one will match with everything. I like that it is stretchy here. It does have some padding in the forehead. I've been wanting a white bag. And you know what? I bought a coach one from the coach outlet thinking it was gonna be so good. I didn't even get the foam stuff that they put on the straps off of the bag and it was already scratched. So that really sucked. I wanted a designer <laughs> bag, but I don't know. I don't really care about designer much. I just care about what it looks like. <laughs> and I really, really like this one. I want to be that kind of girl that spends like $1,000 on bags, but I wear a whole bunch of different bags that like sometimes I just don't want to splurge because I know that I can find cute ones that are less expensive. I'm still on the hunt for a designer bag that I feel like is worth the money. However, I did see that dark coach little tote, which I really, really like. So I might get that one from the outlet. I'll post a picture right here because it's so cute. I've been wanting a pair of these little rhinestone hoops. I was looking at them on Amazon and they were all like around the $15 mark. At Walmart, they are $3.88. Let's just try this on. <laughs> How cute is that with the right outfit? These are so cute as well. I feel like on Amazon, these would also be like 14 or $15. They were $2.88. I like that. That is really cute. And it's lightweight. These little Chanel dupes, I thought these were so cute. I love the gold, I love the quilting, and they were $24. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all how much the bag was. This was $18. Thank you all for hanging out and shopping with me today. Keep an eye out for the Walmart try on video. I hope y'all had a great day. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.